Welcome back to Ramble SMP, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a while, but don't let that fool you. We've got some great stuff planned for today. As you can see, we finally get into making the Guardian Farm, and uh, that required us to disassemble the temple and create this beast of our own. Hope you enjoy the video.
All right, so this is what we got going on over here. These are going to be our little spawning chambers. Um, now, we're only going to have four towers here. They're going to go up. Uh, probably we'll stop just below the line here. I do apologize for the rain. Uh, and then this will be the killing chamber. Now, the cool thing that we're going to be doing with the kill chamber this time is we're going to have a shutoff up at the top to prevent guardians from falling down here at one point uh, because... I want to be able to, you know, work on this just in case. And it's just, like, we hardly will probably have that up there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, like, we're because these are going to go up, like, and then they're going to meet in the middle here. And they're going to come over, and then we're going to kill them here. So uh, I just want to, uh, like, a shut-off switch here. Okay, so these are going to be our little uh, spawning areas. Uh, there will be uh, soul sand down at the bottom there on the level of this deep slate. Uh, but we're gonna take the basalt all the way up. Okay, so being up here, I mean, just gently smack our face there. And don't worry, I've got plenty of glass for this. So we'll go ahead and make this chamber here real quick. And then I guess we should probably get the the soul sand. I have the kelp for it and I'm going to try to do away cuz um try to stagger these every other with the kelp to make these all solid blocks cuz we do need them to be all solid to push the guardians up. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. Uh, and I want to try a really cool way, but I also have some uh, invisibility potions brewed up, so I should be able to do that without getting uh, annihilated 24/7, but we will only need we will need um one piece of armor on, I believe, and then we'll be okay. Let's see how we do it. Oh, look at that. All right, and then the top one here, we're out of basalt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we're gonna see about filling it up with water. All right, so a little different here. This is going to be where they kind of come out here. Uh, so we need to fill up the water to this point but we also need the water to flow this way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so this is eight. So if we have a water source there, the water will flow here perfectly. And so this is going to be a little interesting on how we do this. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way would be. And... I think I've got a pretty good idea. We need a little bit of dirt. I, I wish I, I was trying to... I'm thinking about it as I'm going through it. I should have thought about this before. You know. Oh, well. Who cares? But anyway, let's grab... Uh, we need dirt. Because sand will fall, right? That's what sand do. Sand does the fall. Oh, we'll do tough. Tough blocks will be good in this area. Um... Uh, and then we can also do stone bricks. Okay, perfect. So those will allow us to... Oh, uh, that was longer than it should have been. Lag is a killer on the server. Thanks, lag. Oh, that's going to hurt. No, it's not going to hurt. Okay. Anywho, we need to go ahead... Do that. Okay. So, oh, this is actually be enough because it's 7x7, seven seven, not 8x8, eight eight, which is a full stack. Okay, so we're going to fill this in. We're going to put the water there. I don't think we'll have any guardians spawning yet. What we need to do is get the water flowing in the right direction. And then we'll break all the tough. And then we should be able... We should be able to... Yeah, because this will go to the edge. And then... So the water should be falling. I don't know, can Guardian spawn in, like, like the, the flowing water? I don't actually believe they can. Okay, so that should all fall. These should all be falling water now. All right. So that looks a little weird. But that's how it's going to look. Shoom. Thank you. 
that's cool how it just kind of takes off. Okay, so those have been that's been put in. Uh, now I do need the invisibility potion, and then we are we're gonna try. So I'm go um. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many moving parts. I need to develop a better plan. All right, so I've got kind of a decent plan here. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna go swim down to the bottom. And we are gonna put our soul sand there. So that is there. Um, and I'm gonna keep my helmet on, but we're gonna remove those. I'm gonna go and push them invisibility. Cause I do have a feeling as soon as we start placing this, they will start to spawn in. So we're gonna take these all the way up to the top here. And then we're going to stagger it. So then we're gonna go, uh, so we're gonna skip one. And so my theory is the, yep, that is working, perfect. So we only need to do it every other one because these two create one in the middle, good. So I will keep doing this for a little bit of time. And if I built this completely wrong, uh, the good thing about this is that, um, actually, so we should be able to skip this here too. The good thing about it is I have sponges, so we can very quickly and easily get this working. Oh my, this might be a bit quicker than I originally thought. Kelp is amazing, so we only need to do basically an L with this. I have a feeling... Okay, so this is actually very easy to build. Um, put those on. I have a feeling I may have not built these in the right spot. There may be a certain spot that these guys can only spawn in, and I have not built that in the right area. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like over here that we can do that. Let me look up the guardian farm things. I feel, I, yeah, I probably built this in the wrong area. Okay, so we had a guardian spawn. Um, I don't, I, I'm so confused. So they can spawn in there. Like I haven't had this problem before. Bye. <laughs> he died. But yeah, so I went ahead, flew up into the sky, came back down, and he spawned in. Um, yeah, so I need to do some more testing. Hmm. hmm, okay. So we have the towers now built, which is great and all. We have the guardians building over here. Uh, I had to move them in closer to originally where I wanted them, but now we're going to go and connect these guys up. They're going to be, this is where the killing chamber is going to be. Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So we're going to join them together here and here and then together. Uh, so we're going to go and work on that. Now I should have some glass. That has been smelted up here. My frame rate is starting to suffer a bit here, but that is okay. Uh, yeah, we got some glass here. Perfect. So we can start working on these channels. Okay. So we need... There is a really good chance I will not set up my base here if this is how laggy it's going to be in the area. Um, which is something interesting I hadn't thought about. I didn't think it would be this laggy. So we might need to reconsider where we build our base, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so building this here just across, uh, the water ends there, and we're going to do, actually no, I lied. We're gonna go down by one. Wait, nope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a small lip here, like this. We always want to, in this build anyway, we're, we want um, to frame all of the glass that we're gonna have. Did I go to the end? I did, I don't wanna go to the end. Go out here, like this. It's definitely working, okay. So we've got that here, and then we can go ahead and do this. We will probably be getting rid of the middle, so that is okay. Uh, I do have silk touch, so we can join those together. No worries. All right. 
So then this will be glass as well. And we'll bring it like that. All right, so this area is framed in. Um, they're too wide, so we'll drop these guys down here. Sorry, I'm kind of building this on the fly as we go. Just want to make sure that we get this all squared away. And then, actually, we're just going to have one here. See, I want this to function well and look good. So there is going to be lots of breaking, placing, breaking, placing. It's going to be a little crazy. Uh, but we can get the water streams here set up nicely. Uh, we will just need to uh, rely on some fences or some signs to block it here so that they can drop through. Okay. Very good. Let's grab these. We got lots of stuff here. And so we're going to drop them down two blocks there so that... We're dropping down two blocks so um, they can't jump back up and cause some problems for us. Okay. Ooh, slimes. Anyway, we'll bring this back now, y'all. Okay, we won't be able to put... Well, I guess we can... Yeah, I don't, with it being this, unless when we start killing these guys off, I don't know if it's the Guardians making it super duper laggy, or if it's the water streams, like the bubble columns. Um, if it's the bubble columns, I don't think we will be able to have our base here. But if it's just the amount of Guardians, like we can kill the Guardians off quickly, and then we'll be okay. So we really will have to see how that goes. Uh, so this will go all the way here and here we'll have this this will be straight up and down do I have any more of these in my inventory I do not I hope you guys enjoy this because we are kind of getting into the nitty gritty together uh, of building it so if you like it why don't you go ahead and hit that like button It'd be cool all right, so we're going to bring these pillars up. Oh, we'll have glass going on. There's going to be a lot of glass. In this I do want to be able to see the guardians uh, fall into here. I think it would be really cool just to see them getting funneled and stuff like that. So that is something we will definitely keep. Um, yeah, and then let's see here. We need to switch these out. These are going to be straight up and down. And... So, we will, um, yeah, we'll go all the way up with these, like so. We're going to get rid of this guy, replace it with this, and fill it in with glass, like so. Same here. Okay, and then we'll bring it across the top. And do one of those. All right, so we'll put we'll put signs back here coming across, and so and then we'll have water here being pushed, pushing the guardians there, and so they will get pushed off into here, and then we'll have water. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here, what we'll do is we'll put uh, packed ice there to go ahead and block. Or to allow the guardians... Well, I guess we just need to put pressure plates. And then we'll start the water stream again. Because they are, I think, more than one block wide. And they do jump around a bit. So they should have no problem of going through to the next area. Alright, and so this is the spot to fall down. And so... We'll just come here like that. Fill this in. Can't fill that in just yet. And then place it like this. Uh, 
Okay. And that will go there, so the guardians will fall down right there. They go splat. They won't die, uh, but we will have the ability to have them uh, stay there or die on like We'll just put some magma blocks down there so that they will perish and we'll get their loot. All right, so we got the general idea. I showed you guys how we're going to do it. I'm going to put these signs. Uh, we're going to use some netherwood uh, signs and put the water streams in. Put the roof on, and then we will be back once we're ready to lift the... the uh, oh, I'm also going to duplicate it on this side as well, but we'll be back once we're ready to let these guys out and test it out. Okay, so I believe we have everything done. I do have all the signs here. The water's flowing right now. I did go ahead and put this one here. I do know this; these signs do nothing, but it does... It just, it would look weird if we didn't have one there. So I put it there anyway. I did that on both sides. So the only thing we have left to do is to open this guy up and then to remove the ladder and fill it in. So uh, we're going to open up this first. And then we can go ahead and we'll break this guy. Um, let's just break all of these. There's that, there's that, and now the glass will block that off. Actually, we still technically need to be in here for a couple of moments, but now that is lined up good. There we go. Okay, so we're able to get through there. So, just verifying that that's open, yep. All right, so we can start letting these guys in. Okay, maybe an invisibility potion would have been a good idea. <laughs> uh, maybe. Let's just let these guys kind of process through. They're jumping a little bit around, but once they get down there, they kind of don't jump anymore. We're going to heal. Okay. All right, now time for these guys. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so we're through on this side. Very good. Come on, there we go. Okay, I'll let this guy go through. Oh my, they're getting out. Well, what can you do? I can just fly away, come back, and then we'll make sure they can't get out. Okay. All right, so we got the final one. All right, so there's the, the chamber is open. Gonna get hit or not? Cool. So that's open there. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. We're gonna lock those guys in. I'm gonna fly away. Have these guys despawn. Okay, we can go back down. And they should be despawned now. Yep, looks good. So we should start to see some guys going up, flopping around, and landing there. Perfect. Come 
<laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. I need to have him despawn again. We need to get the magma blocks in there. Something I forgot to do. Okay, I don't think we need to go up all the way. Okay. Perfect. Now when they fall in... Yep, they're going to be taking damage. And they'll slowly start dying. This is working great! <laughs> There's a lot flowing in here. Now we've seen them spawn in. I don't know. I don't think they're spawning in, which is unfortunate. There's a skeleton up there. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, they did spawn in, but we had to be a certain amount away from it. I wonder if we set up like an AFK platform, if that would work. Um, okay, so what we can go ahead and do is let all these guys die. That guy survived somehow. So we can let all these guys die off, and then I can raise this up a couple blocks so we can have our collection system right here. So cool. All right, people, so I've got some great news. We will be able to set up our base here. It's not too laggy once we do have these guys getting processed. And the other thing, too, is I was worried we'd have to go ahead and go up into the sky or make these guys go up instead of having them come down here. Uh, but I did figure out that if we go ahead and level everything out to this level, uh, if we're standing here underneath the Guardian uh, farm, they will continue to spawn in no problem and we can kill them. So uh, I'm over here. I'm far enough away. They should continue to spawn in. We should see him kind of start to drop in. It's going to make me a liar. Please don't. Maybe I'm actually too far away. I don't know. Probably not. It's weird. This thing is so finicky, I, I swear. Do I have to be all the way over here? Nope, they're spawning in. See them? They're just not spawning in super quick right now for some odd reason. I don't know why. Uh, but yes, they do spawn in. I, I We will be able to do that. And then everything will be on this level, which is great. And this is why level 25. So we got plenty of room to go down below. And then we can go ahead you know, and have our villagers over here. But I will be completely revamping that. And we're going to have a circular... Uh, cylinder go up and kind of go above the water into a dome and our villager uh, breeder will be in there and then in here will be purely uh, villager you know trading halls and we'll also have a zombification chamber in there so as soon as we get the villagers out we can go ahead and make those trades super low and then here's going to be really cool so we're going to have this kind of jet out um, what I mean jet out is we're going to have kind of a casing go around this I do like how this looks but I do want to keep you know, the, the glass being able to look up. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, um, basically going to stick another layer of prismarine bricks or something along those lines on the outside. And then it'll start here and just kind of work its way up. And then over here to kind of work its way back in. So I think that will look really, really nice. And yeah, so... Do we have more guardians in there? We do. So these things will continue to spawn. And then in the kill chamber down here, we're not going to work on the permanent kill chamber, uh, but I will go ahead and put in a temporary one right now so that we can start farming these materials when we're working around here. And, you know, we'll be able to build up, you know, sell the items to the other members so that they can also use it. But yeah, uh, these guys are definitely working. And this was the test area. I went down and checked it out. So, oh yeah, and I did die. Uh, I went down and I was checking that out, but I dropped into a room and a creeper walked up right to me while I was kind of AFK, wasn't paying attention, and exploded in my face. And yeah, we lost our 55 levels, but we can get those back. But we do need to work on getting some netherite tools here pretty soon. Okay, so the kill chamber, I did start moving items down here because I did think I would have to get rid of our little 
miniature house up there right now, but I don't actually need to do anything to that. Uh, I can work on that later, which is good. So what we do need is some of these, and we just need my hoppers. Where in the world did those things go? Okay, here, here. Uh, I thought I had six hoppers. Am I tripping? I think I am. Okay. So we're going to head up here and I will build that super duper simple. Oh, we do need to swap that out for that. Actually, we might not, but we might just, no. We will have to swap it out. Uh, but anywho, let's go in here. Okay, so we need to make a couple of these guys. Oh, I think I forgot my rails down there as well. That's okay. We can make a few. So we just need one of those. Perfect. All right. So the hopper mine carts will pull the items from the block above it. Uh, and, oops, spawn set. Okay, I think that's everything that we need from here, which is good. Let's go on down hither. And yes, we do have a little bit of this perfection. Okay, so we have hopper minecarts right underneath here on top of hoppers going into chests. So this is one too tall. Uh, so let's let those guys process. And we will lower that by one. Okay. So we have that now at the proper height. So we're going to start from the bottom here. I do need a crafting table. Um, there we go. Let's make some chests. Well... Let's just try this out. So it'll go like so, and then the hoppers go in there. All right, and then that goes there. Okay, that was definitely not the way to do that. <laughs> let's let's fix this here so what we can do is we can go like this okay so we do need to recreate those hopper mine carts here no big deal three and four and we'll go like this and then we'll break this here so it sits down perfect and we'll do the same here, and this, and this as well, so it's locked in. Place this here, and then we set that down. All right, and then this goes here. Hmm. Okay, so there was something that happened when I put two on it. They kind of balanced each other out. So if I put that there and this here, I think this will work. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead, take these guys out, and then what we can do, go like this. I wonder if I'm supposed to break those, the rails now, so that they're diagonal like that. Let me try that out. Let's see if that's what we're supposed to do. Kinda, I feel like I'm just winging this, honestly. Okay, let's see if we have any items that kind of get stuck up there. Um, so I'll put this here. And then we can finish these off. I want these. 
Okay, again, this is super duper temporary. We are not gonna leave this here forever. But this will let me see if any items get up there. Or if any items get stuck and they're not picked up by the hopper minecarts. So I'm gonna go AFK here for just a little bit of time and then we'll be back in a second. Okay, so a couple of them have died. We're gonna go ahead and see. Okay, there are definitely items that are not getting picked up. Yep, that is very clear to see. There are actually no items getting picked up. Okay, so I do think they have to be on the rails. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. All right, short little AFKing more later. Let's see, do we have any, any items kind of lingering around? Ah, uh, we have this stuff in the corner here. It's interesting how it's in the corner. But yeah, we're definitely picking up items now. Oh yeah, it is here. Well, very cool. So this is definitely working, uh, which is fantastic. That means our job today is completed. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how good it feels to finally know that we have beaten, we have beaten it. We beat it with our hands. So what did we beat? We beat the system. Yes, we have officially done the thing of things where we make the guardian farm that we I've been putting off for several months <laughs> but yes it's working ladies and gentlemen except for that there everything else is working flawlessly it'll eventually um, despawn and we won't have to worry about it we won't have to see it we won't have to think about it we'll just move along on with our lives but yeah, it's automated. Oh, that means we can also... Hang on, hang on, hang on. We... Can make our very own sea lanterns now. Yes, this is a glorious time. Sea lanterns are so great. Other members, if you want some sea lanterns, put in some special orders until I get the shop built. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. I love your face.